What's up? I am back. In this video, I'm going to show you on how to use the JavaFX Combo Box. The JavaFX Combo Box is the same as the JavaFX Choice Box. It lets the user to select an item from a list of items. The JavaFX Combo Box is the advanced version of the Choice Box. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you on how to use the JavaFX Combo Box. I'm going to show you how to add an item, how to load an item from the external file in our computer and show more interesting features in the JavaFX combo box. So let's get started. Open your IDE and create the project or implement this in your project. So I'm going to open my scene builder and create the scene so here, I'm going to delete this uh, existing one and replace this to uh, another layout like Anchor Paint. Drag that right here. And I'm going to add a combo box. Okay, and drag it in the middle and make this a little bigger. And I'm going to drag another node, like a button to load to load the items from from the external file right here. Let me see it show it to you. Right there, this one. Let me open this. Okay. And let's go back right here. Hit the scene builder and rename this button load the items from a file. From the file from a file. Load the items from a file. Load the items from the file. All right, and I'm going to drag another label to show the selected item from our choice box and rename this to selection, selection, okay, and resize, align this to center, okay. All right, I think it's enough. And let me assign this, let me assign the unique ID for our button, load items. And I think I don't, I'm gonna, I don't need this. Let me direct here, load items. And the combo box, let's assign the unique ID to combo box. And also the selection as selection also. All right, and let me assign the controller right here to pins of page combo box controller. Save that and go here at the edit menu I'm in view and show sample control skeleton and copy the codes here. The FXML injection and etc. And go back to the IDE and let's go here the controller file and remove this, paste that. And Alt Enter to import the class and also this action event. All right. So I'm a, I'm going to assign the string here because we need to we need to use the string for our list of items. And enter. And I'm going to 
implement C initializable implements initializable and implement methods okay so here I am going to initialize I'm going to add an items in our choice box so I'm going to initialize the string string of array items is equals to how about Java programming language okay and this would be comma and let me call the combo box to get the items get items that add all and items all right and what else let me try to run this application if the items is working and showing in our application this would be combo box and assign a main class apply and ok alright let's run the application if let's see if the items is working here yep it is working so what I'm going to do next is to if we are if we are going to select an item here and it, it should be displayed here in the selection area so to do that I'm going to uh, make another action event for our combo box combo box that's set on action and let me let, so we'll use the lambda expression for our action event all right so I'm going to call the selection selection that set text and items or data so if this so our data is our variable data is isn't here so I'm going to make the string data is equals to combo box that get selection model that get selected item and to string okay and I think that's enough and we'll try to run our application to see what that look like alright so if we select the Java it should be displayed in the selection label Java programming language okay so what I'm going to do next is to load the items from the file from our text txt file alright so let's make another method for our loading file let me create the method here private void load file so I'm going to use the file class from the Java IO suppose new file and import the file okay and let me copy the uh, path here and new file I mean like this and box.txt okay and we will use the buffered reader to read our file and get the items and display it in our combo box so to do that 
I'm going to write buffered reader and br is equals new buffered reader new file reader and file so I'm going to surround this to the try catch exception try catch is out okay and all right so and while let me assign let me declare a string here for our data string items and items let me rename this variable items from from file is equals to br that read line and not equal to null so <coughs> combo box that get items that add all items from file and load the file right here all right and let's run the program to see what that look like if it is working okay so we have an initial items here from our this one from this one items Java if we load this item if we if we click this button it will load the, the items inside the txt file and let's click this let's click this button to see what it looked like so here the items and in, inside the txt file has been loaded it is combo box and javafx and let me select that and javafx all right it is working so i have another feature here to show you the combo box also allows to set editable so it means we can type something in the combo box to to do that we need to set the combo box to editable and save so to to do that we can we can type something in the combo box like this let's run this program if I'm going to type something here something like that and press the enter it will display my name here and it won't be added here so what I'm going to do is if I'm going to type something in the combo box and hit enter it will be added here so let's close that and let me go to the combo box that set an action event string add item is equals to combo box that get value and combo box that get items that add add item that's it and let's run the program to see how it works and if I'm going to type selection and hit an enter it will be added here in the selected item in the items and cancel ph.com 
it will be added here. That's it, and I hope you learned something new in this tutorial. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share, and I will see you in the next video.